The other thing that might be limited is the quantity that I can produce. Now quantity can be limited by a bunch of reasons. The one thing I can imagine is space. I might not have all of the space available in my storeroom to produce an infinite number of products. Of course not. I'm, I'm also limited by space um, and that limits the quantity I can produce. So for example, let's say I sell cars and buckies and I want to display them on, on display and but the number of cars plus the number of buckies that I can display is limited by my space and therefore the quantity that I can display must be less or equal to a certain number. I can also be limited by contractual agreements. Let's say for example I have to produce at least a certain number of cakes. Okay, let's say I'm baking cakes and according to a certain contract, I have to produce at least, let's say, 200 cakes per day. So I must make, let's say I make cakes and breads, uh, I must bake at least 200 cakes per day. That, uh, well, that's a restraint on the quantity that I can produce or must produce. Another thing might be relationships. That might sound odd, but what I mean by that is, let's take a shirt for example. A shirt must have more than one button, or let's say at least two buttons. Now, when I say at least two buttons, it means that I must have two or more than two buttons. Greater than. At least means greater than. So. For every one shirt I have, I must make at least two buttons. Therefore, the number of buttons must be bigger than twice the number of shirts. We call this relationships because there's some relationship between the number of the one and the number of the others that I must make. There can be a bunch of other reasons as well and there's way too many to actually go through all of them and I've only highlighted the most important parts at this stage. But let's go continue with our example and we'll notice how we can make inequalities out of each restraint. Looking back at our previous example, let's now look at the rest of the restraints. A minimum of 200 shirts must be manufactured daily. Well, looking at that one, that's obviously a contractual agreement. I must manufacture at least so many, okay? And we said that shirts is X, so that would mean that X must be a minimum of 200 shirts must be manufactured. So I must make more than or equal to 200. In total, not more than 600 pieces of clothing may be manufactured or can be manufactured daily. Now they are talking of pieces of clothing. That does not mean just the shirts or just the trousers, but both of them together. So if I consider the number of shirts I make and the number of trousers I make, that must not be more than 600 pieces, so it must be less or equal to 600. And then we had that it takes the machine minutes, then it went into the machine minutes. And there they are. There's my three restraints for this specific problem. I think let's look at another one. I'm enjoying this. Let's look at this example. In order to paint the walls of his home, Joseph will require at least 10 liters of purple paint. The purple paint is obtained by mixing quantities of red and blue paint. To obtain a suitable shade of purple paint, the volume of blue paint used must be at least twice, sorry, must be at least half the volume of red paint used. The hardware store where Joseph intends to buy the paint has only 8 liters of blue paint. Let the number of liters of red paint be X and the number of blue paint be Y. Okay, well, here's actually a very sneaky one that I almost missed. But there are three 
inequalities or restraints here. This is number two and that's number three. But there are actually three. Where's the other one? Well, the other one is neatly tucked away here. Joseph will require at least 10 liters of purple paint. Now, how do we get purple paint? We get purple paint by mixing X and Y. So X plus Y must be at least 10 liters. So at least means greater or equal to. If there's one thing you should know at the end of this lesson is that at least means greater than. And at most means less than. Students often get confused with that one and I don't blame them. The words are a bit confusing. At least means I have this much and more. So at least 10 liters. Okay, how about inequality 2? To obtain a suitable shade of red, the volume of blue must be at least. Okay, so blue is Y must be at least, so greater or equal to, half the volume of red. Half the volume of red, X. And the third one, the hardware store where Joseph intends to buy the paint only has 8 liters of blue paint in stock. Okay, so blue paint is limited. The blue paint is Y is less than or equal to 8. I can't buy more than 8. So it's less than or equal to. Well, we've looked at quite a few examples now. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you will be able to do some on your own now. Good luck.